there's a judge who looked straight at the prosecutor and said, nope, walking wild black. That's all this man did. A judge said this on the bench while the charges and the probable cause is being read to the judge in order to sustain the criminal charges against the man. Here it is. Officers were dispatched to a possession of marijuana investigation at 100 Hollows Tree Lane in Harris County, Texas. Officer was informed the defendant crossed an authorized crossing point from convenience store to apartment complex. Officer observed strong odor of marijuana. Wait, wait, he did what? He says he crossed an unauthorized crossing point. So I guess he crossed the street. Is he jaywalking? Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. And then walking while black. And it says the officer observed a strong odor of marijuana and he was informed that the defendant had begun to walk backwards upon being asked about marijuana by another officer. A PC search was conducted and the officer observed a large sack of marijuana. I don't think so. Walking while black. I don't think so. I'm going to find no probable cause. Yes, Mr. Blake, be careful, man. Yes, you know, the world is against you. Don't let him be. Do something with your life. You know what I mean? The more you just come on, man. Judge, I don't think so. I don't think walking wild black. Put up the picture for a man. This judge is going viral for a few things. Um, all very positive, in my opinion. He is holding the justice uh, system accountable. To do what? Follow the law. You got to have probable cause. If this is a marijuana investigation, you don't utilize this pretextual BS of jaywalking in order to investigate possession of marijuana. And who the hell investigates possession of marijuana today anyway? Possession of marijuana. All right. So this was in Harris County, Texas, of all places. Judge David Fleischer, who has gone viral for handling this case and other cases. This was not the first time the judge has called out the police for this issue. Here it is. Here's the rub. What's he doing? Walking while black? What's he doing? What's he doing wrong? Was he under arrest? I mean, all I see is that they go up and they just start searching. Right? I believe. Walking while black. Mr. Abiola, I'd be very careful. You know, where you go, what you do may not end up well for you. I'm gonna find no probable cause on this case now. Thank you, Mr. Abiola, be careful. You see, probable cause is actually a burden that officers have to meet in order to affect an investigation, arrest, et cetera. What's your probable cause? Am I free to go? This judge, obviously, who cares about the sacredness of the law, is doing it the proper way. Now, some people may not like this, but he's actually doing it the way it was set out to be done. Even when he posed the question just now, nobody could answer it. What's your probable cause? You just went up and started searching him? You can't do that. All right, for more background on the judge, let's put him up. We appreciate people like this in our society. We appreciate individuals like this who take leadership and actually understand the assignment. During an interview on the Jen Hardy show last month, the judge said he did not become a judge for the money. He actually took a massive pay cut from what he was making as a defense lawyer when he became a judge. He seeked the position because he wanted to reform the system from within another dynamic about his character is he refuses to wear a robe he wears a suit which is permissible he's the judge he can do it as he chooses uh but these dynamics are telling about his character very thankful that individuals like this exist on the bench um proud of his leadership and also his encouragement letting people know, especially black men, it is unfair here in Harris County. Understand this, it's unfair. Just know you're in my courtroom because they broke the rules, not you. All right. Jackson, thoughts here? First, I got to say I dig the bow tie. You know what I'm saying? The get up. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to call him Bowtie Williams from bow tie on anytime I ever see him again. That's Bowtie Williams. 
But um, you know, definitely th that this was really cool to see. This is my first time uh, seeing this particular judge. Uh, very heartwarming. But one of the things that I really wanted to point out that came to my mind is that this, in fact, is more of a window into how most people actually are. Mm, and the truth yeah, of that that's right. really reflects the responsibility for all of us to be involved. And the older I get, the more I realize that it's my responsibility to make this difference, whether I'm in a position or I encourage other people to be in a position. And all, you know, I am everyone else. Everyone else is me. Everybody else is just another version of you in another plane. You know what I'm saying? So if we collectively take responsibility, then there can be more people like Bowtie Williams in positions of power. You know what I'm saying? Like whether it be in, in a judge seat, if you a sheriff, if you a politician, if you a doctor, whatever it is, um, oftentimes uh, what you'll find is people in positions of power. What does that take? Well, it takes a lot of determination and grit and grind, and it can, it can yeah. take a whole lot of negative things too. But a lot of the time, people who are good spirited may not necessarily have ambitions to be in positions of power. But I think that if we can kind of, you know, just provide a bit more education to the public as we do here and as we dedicate our lives to doing, the more people will realize, oh, man, that can be me in that position. That's right. Um, and so, yeah. Beautiful, man. And celebrate people like this judge. Um, celebrate leaders like this in your community. It's not difficult to do. People always say, oh, well, you don't know what position they will put in. That's BS. If you want to do right, you can do right. It doesn't matter what position you're placed in. It does not matter what um, compromise they may try to force upon you. You can be like this guy and many others. So we applaud the leadership of the judge.